Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right. So all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as Divine Masculine, hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you. All right. Let us go ahead, you all. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you on today. Alrighty. Alright, one more. What does Tina need to know? What does women need to know? Okay. Potential and possibility. The great goddess. The portal. Okay. Reach out to the potential that is calling for you. Future highest self quantum. Okay. The great goddess. Transcendence, divinity, and shakti. Okay. The portal adventure ancestors calling are you ready okay hmm tapped into your divine feminine energy all right you're manifesting things pulling things in in particular a person someone is up here okay someone is on her mind okay are you ready because this person is coming in quickly all right, flower child, momentum, creativity, action. Yeah, I hope that over everyone else, you learn to make yourself proud because the things that you're wanting to manifest, you are manifesting. You're bringing those things in very quickly is what it looks like. So be prepared, okay? We have mother, we have engineer. Nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. Yeah, you're birthing new things. All right, new version of yourself. Therefore, you're birthing a new life. Okay, a very positive, uplifting, empowered version of yourself or uplifted. Okay, version of yourself. You're someone who is pure at heart, genuine in nature. True to self, all right, and you do not mind starting over. So it seems like you're in a, like I said, a birthing period, okay? Fearlessly revealing emotion, helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy, okay? Rebel. Challenges authority to affect social change. Reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Okay, that goes under the great goddess. Okay. Mother. Nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. Again. So, something new is being birthed here. Okay, new version of yourself. Hero. Okay. Passion for a journey of personal empowerment. Hero, heroine. Okay. Heroin, heroin. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's so funny. I was saying that to um, someone the other day. We have victim, all right? Prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. Yeah, the great goddess. You're a hero. You're inspiring. You're nurturing. You're full of love. You're full of life. You know, someone feels like... <laughs> Someone feels like you have stolen their heart. We have thief here, and then the heart is missing. All right. But it says, sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. All right. You have shown someone a new way. You have shown someone that things don't have to be so difficult. Life doesn't have to be so difficult. This person thinks really great things about you. They feel like you're a queen. Radiates the regal feminine. Okay. Uses her benevolent authority to protect others. This person thinks amazing things of you. They think highly of you. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. 
All right, we have six chakra, a woman holding a coin. You manifest the things that you desire. All right, this could make some people feel hostile. That's okay. You transmute that energy. You know, people send energy toward you. You transmute it into something positive. All right. Possibly before you send it back, you know. We have, yeah, financial constraints. Someone could also feel like a fool forever having tried to steal something from you, take something from you. All right. Because, again, your intuition could have just put you on to what was going on. And you still show this person compassion. And instead of you being upset or any of that, you just showed them the way. You showed them how to do something. All right. It could have been meditation. <clears throat> again, manifestation. Because we have rest and rejuvenation in reverse. Yeah, hostility. Someone was upset about something. All right. Because they weren't able to do something. And you showed them the way. Yeah. Okay, instead of sitting around boohoo, woe is me, you know, get up, do something about it. All right, <clears throat> we have storm warning. All right, things are shifting, things are changing. I feel like you know that. Yeah, community, the things um, that you like to do, the people that you hang out with, the places that you go that is shifting. Okay, you're manifesting your tribe, you're manifesting your people. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here as well. Yeah, this man holding a heart. Like I said, someone feels like you stole their heart. Look, another heart missing, you see? So, again, it's like <clears throat> someone could have been a very specific way in their past, and it didn't get them anywhere. And then they come running into you, and you show them a new way. You show them that things don't have to be so difficult. Life doesn't have to be so difficult, you know? And, this, yeah, see, this person could have struggled throughout life. You know, their first chakra was off. We're going to put that in up, right? <clears throat> but they could have struggled in life. And they got to a place where, like I said, they learned how to shift things around. Yeah, open up to adjacent possibilities or discover adjacent possibilities through healing themselves. Okay? 717 on the timestamp. That's a significant number for Twin Flame. So go check that out. Okay. working together instead of working against you is offering this person a brand new beginning that's a double emphasis on that okay yeah see you showed them a new way or you've shown them a new way okay partnerships and alliances yes now they have firm foundation all right <clears throat> from this to that right and you're blocking out certain energies so that you can welcome in other energies is what i'm getting the right people for you patience all right divine time and you're planting positive seeds and you're going to see those things manifest all right this is higher front energy wisdom continue to apply what it is that you know continue to trust your intuition third eye chakra continues to be emphasized all right that's loud twice yeah, we have masculine, okay, three times, okay? So I feel like you and your divine counterpart are connected telepathically, all right? You are guiding this person in more ways than one. We have emotional withdrawal. This is, like I said, someone could have been struggling with meditation, okay? This is going within, journeying within, okay? Recognition and reward. You have witnessed this person grow a lot. Not that you were ever attempting to change them. But that they themselves saw that there was a better way, a different way. And that's what they wanted to do. So that's what they did. Now they're experiencing a lot of things happening for them very, very quickly. All right. Sacred chakra. They're believing in themselves. No longer being trapped in fear and suffering in silence. And because of this, again, those positive seeds that were planted and you being patient with them and you trusting them, you loving them, you never giving up on them and keeping faith alive, hope alive in your connection. You're going to start seeing things shift. This person is going to stand up for the connection a lot more as well. All right. There's a lot of beautiful things coming in. All right. Yeah. See, fulfilling of wishes, getting everything that you want here. All right. Beautiful energies. <clears throat> Let us see. Four hour feminine. All right. You're mysterious. Okay. Because you're a goddess. You're a queen. You're a mother. You're a rebel. You're all of these things. All right others opinions at one point they could have been you know bound by others opinions how they should do things okay 
They could have also been addicted to the attention of others. Okay. Very flirtatious and different things. Ooh, different things like that, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, you guys. Okay, so as long as they know where home is or they know what to do or they know where what boundaries not to cross and different things like that. Spoiling you. Okay, this person loves to spoil you. That's what they want to do. This person feels like they need more time to heal. They need more time to, you know, get the hang of this whole journey, which is true. So they can master it, you know, master themselves. The person feels like they are obsessed with you, okay? They feel like you are theirs, okay? And at times, because they don't feel like they are good enough, they're challenging, you know, themselves to be confident, to be bold, to be that authority figure. They're like, maybe you, you need to let me go because the things that I want to do, I'm not able to do. Again, they just have to believe in themselves, okay? No one compares to you is how they feel, all right? And even that they act like they don't care, that's not true. They're showing out because they feel like you're their twin flame, all right? Yeah, this person sometimes gets really jealous if, and they cry too. They may not say it, they may not show you, but they do. If they feel like other people get more time, attention, energy, you know, different things like that, then they do. <laughs> um, they may feel a way, but they may not say it. But it's because of how much they love you. And they really do feel like you're not only their friend, but their true love. You know, it's giving you their first true love, you know, type thing. And that's what we saw in the last reading as well. Okay. This person feels like you're their first true love. Lots of shifts, lots of changes going to be taking place here within the connection. Okay. You're going to start seeing a lot of positive things come into fruition and it's all because of the faith that you had feminine you did not let go you did not lose hope okay they recognize that they appreciate that and spirit is about to bless it okay spirit is blessing this union so i pray that this helps you i know that it will if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and haggard